spend the next 20 years changing poetry, then spend the next 20 changing it back. <laughs> This is the changing the face of literature. <laughs> Sorry. You guys thought haiku was the next level of the three, three line poetry. You thought we took it to the limit. We said, hey, we, ex we have John, we have, we have John. Is there a word that starts with John that, that means like a walking, like a jaunt? John, we have journeyed to the edge. We have journeyed, we have journeyed to the edge of what poetry can do with the haiku form. That's what you thought! <laughs> Guys, speaking about the haters on Twitter, they're all over. Watch your back! I am I'm experiencing some success in my life. It's called successful lifestyle. Get on board. I are, I are now there's some high schoolers that are having to learn about my poetry in class. And Guys, I looked up some facts about Lancaster. <laughs> I wanted to learn about your native culture when I was coming into the arena. I learned that Lancaster County has seven, about 7,500 hotel rooms in it. <laughs> in your county, it's beautiful. It's so beautiful, the amount of hotel rooms. <laughs> Did you know the expression, the county seat? Well, you have 7,500 of them. <laughs> Turtlenecks. They have put my son out of business. My son makes giraffe necks. <laughs> this is my Jurassic Park love poem. I'm Jeff Goldblum in Jurassic Park for you. I, I point out human beings' exploitation of the natural world. That's my main function. Also, I'm arrogant and I like you. <laughs> I like dancing. I like kissing you. I want to kiss you. I want to kiss you on a baseball field in the middle of the night, in the tunnel, in the jungle gym, when it's dark out and we can't see. I'm going to bring cookies and juice, and we're going to eat them both. Some of, I'm often getting into these forms of poetry This really just one line at a time. Some people would say they aren't poems, but I feel maybe they're poetry, whether or not they're poems. Do you feel what I'm saying? Uh, anyway, there, anyway, there are tweets, and they're very good ones. This one was a, also a spiritual slogan to help you realize enlightenment. Every human's original nature is to be fricked up. The mind creates an illusion that you're not fricked up, but you are. Mm. How the frick do you eat tacos without an internet connection? I don't understand James the Giant Peach. He's giant and peach? <laughs> Dear reader, I love you, and I'm the only person on earth who loves you, so you better love me also. Guys, um, this, this, this poetry is modeled after the, the Wikipedia page for list of unusual deaths. <laughs> Very interesting page. These are some of them. I put them in first person to make them more relatable. But these are, these are true deaths based on a true story. Today I died after an airborne 200 kilogram American black bear smashed through my windshield and out the back window of my SUV. <laughs> Today I was killed while heating up a lava lamp on my kitchen stove. <laughs> the lamp exploded and a shard pierced my heart. <laughs> Today I was killed after being struck in the face by an airborne fire hydrant while walking. <laughs> nice. This is a short story. You guys know, I've already demonstrated it to you tonight if you didn't already, that I 
have won poetry. Hands in the air if you agree that I won poetry. I'm gonna assume the people who didn't vote, you're leaning toward yes, and <laughs> you will be convinced soon. But anyway, uh, the, <laughs> ah, thank you. Okay, so this is my short story though, because I was dominating poetry too hard. It got too easy. You guys know, it's like in elementary school when they have to put you in the advanced classes because like third grade is too easy for me. So I have to pretend I'm in fourth grade to take the fourth graders class even though I'm in third grade. I was in those classes as a kid. I have brains. Now I actually started to use my advanced learning to learn up on fiction in my spare time. And now I actually won that genre too. <laughs> is a cool as heck girl. She lives in an old ass home that no one knows if she is even alive in the house. Her favorite games are playing foosball and watching hockey on TiVo. Well, Heather is one of the best humans alive and she eats a lot of interesting foods such as chocolate cake. Yeah, that's Heather for you. Uh, I think she's cool. Hi, Heather. Wall. It's a bomb, though. <laughs> Heather knows it is a bomb because she is a smart girl. She says audibly in her own home, God damn, <laughs> that's a bomb. <laughs> well, that sucks. The bomb explodes and Heather dies. <laughs> but she's happy as hell, guess why? She got into heaven, <laughs> the end. Woo! Thank you. This literature, guys. I'm pissed off. Band of horses is not actual horses. <laughs> what will it take to get some goddamn actual horses into the studio? Because I am willing to do what it takes. <laughs> My honk if your Canadian bumper sticker was unexpectedly a huge hit with geese. <laughs> Oh, guys, who here is familiar with the Weebelows? You ever hear that word, Weebelows? <laughs> Weebelo, it's a Boy Scout term. It means you're at about fourth grade level of Boy Scouts. Anyway, um, this is a poem about Weebelow Boy Scouts. <laughs> Your son attained the Weebelow level of Boy Scouts. <laughs> Fuck your Weebelow son. <laughs> that one was my crowning moment, <laughs> my achievement. God must have spent a little more money on you. <laughs> I don't go IRL because I'm scared that situations like in the Saw movies will happen to me. <laughs> Let me put my birds exactly in your mouth. What can I do with your moonlighted and bare knees? What is there now? Everything on you I want. You are something softer than star-filled night. I'm going to kiss you and say 666 in your mouth. I feel happy every time I see your name on the internet. I want it to be 70 degrees and us kissing. Do you want that? My mouth is for you. My, bur my permanently bird-filled mouth is for you. Like an ocean, my birds are toward the outside of me. My flowers fall onto you, on your mouth. And sometimes you are in my flowers, and sometimes I have flowers falling on you and off you. I'm like various animals when I'm with you. I can't even tell which ones. Show me quiet airplanes landing in you constantly. on you like the stars on the night. You're pretty interesting to me because you're the most bird-like person. You're like a bird because I like birds and I like you. I just like who you are. If we're watching a movie and it's not very good in the first half hour, we can turn it off and kiss. There's no reason for us to watch movies that are just okay. Kissing with you is remarkable. If the movie is not remarkable, we have better things to
to do. I need you on your back somewhere. I sing into your mouth pretending you are dead. It sounds like you are the ocean. I hold your mouth like a cup. It sounds like you are full of what the sky is full of. Are you changing hogs? Hogs, 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 hog